Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group Five and we will learn about simple pendulum as an application of second order ordinary differential equation. The members of Group Five there are me, Atika Salihati, Safira Aulia Libertin, and Triani Safitri. Okay. We will discuss about simple pendulum. A simple pendulum is defined as a particle. It means M suspended from point O by a string of length L, and its mass is negligible. If the particle is pulled sideways to position B, so that the string makes an angle theta zero with the vertical line OC, then the particle will move. Then the particle will oscillate between B and the symmetrical position B prime. Particles move along the arc of a circle of radius L equals to OA, and the force acting on the particles are gravity and times G. R equals to negative M times G times sinus theta, where the minus sign appears because the force is opposite to the displacement. Since the particle is moving along a circle of radius L, the distance of the distance the pendulum travel is S equals to L times theta. So the pendulum's velocity is V equals L times T theta dt, and pendulum tangential acceleration is A equals to L dv dt equals to L times t square theta over dt square. According to Newton's Second law, the uh, f equals to m times a equivalent with m times l times d square theta over dt square. Then we get we have m times l times d square theta over dt square equals to negative m times g times sinus theta or d square theta over dt square plus g over l sinus theta equals to zero. If the angle theta is small enough and the oscillation amplitude is also small, then sinus theta approximate to theta. So, the equation for the pendulum's motion is d square theta over dt square plus g over l times theta equals to zero. The characteristic equation from equation 1 is lambda square plus g over l equals zero. And the roots of the characteristic equation is lambda 1 and 2 equals 2 plus minus i times square root of g over l. So the solution of equation 1 is theta t equals to c1 cosine square root of g over l times t plus c2 times sinus square root of g over l times t. So the particle or pendulum will be insulated according to the equation theta t equals to c1 cosine square root of g over l times t plus c2 times sin square root of g over l times t. By applying cosinus formula, the equation, the second equation can be written as yt equals to c cosine square root of g over l times t plus delta, where c is the motion amplitude or a, whose value is equal square root of c1 square plus c2 square when tangent delta equals to c2 over c1 and the value of period t equals to 2p over 2p or equivalent with 2p over 2p per t equals to 2p over over omega and the frequency or f equals to 1 over t equals omega over 2p and the sliding pass equals to delta over square root of g over l. And the next topic is problem and solution about simple pendulum that will be delivered by Safira and Triani. Okay, for the first is, uh, will be delivered by Safira. Okay, Safira, time is yours. Okay, for the second part is problem and solution. Please, next. A pendulum is attached to a string that is 6 inch long with g is equal to 32 feet per second and we need to determine theta at time t if theta 0 is equal to 1 over 4 and theta prime 0 is equal to 1. 
the solution is we have L is equal to 6 inch, which is this is equal to 5.0 feet. Then the suitable differential equation is d square theta over dt square plus 32 over 0 0.5 theta is equals to 0. This equation is equivalent with d square theta over dt square plus 64 theta is equals to 0. Uh, from this equation, we have the characteristic equation is lambda square plus 64 is equals to 0. And the roots of the equation is lambda 1, 2 is equal to plus minus h i and the solution of the differential equation is theta t is equals to c1 cosinus h t plus c2 sinus h t. The next is to find the particular solution we use the initial condition theta 0 is equals to 1 over 4 so we have c1 is equals to 1 over 4 then theta t is equals to 1 over 4 cosinus h t plus c2 sinus h t. Uh, the next is to find c2, we use the second initial condition theta prime 0 is equals to 1. And then we differentiate, differentiate theta t is equals to c1 cosinus h t plus c2 sinus h t. Then we have theta prime t is equals to minus sinus h t plus h c2 cosinus h t. So we get theta prime 0 is equals to h c2 cosinus 0 is equals to 1 and then c2 is equals to 1 over h. So the particular solution of the differential equation is theta t is equals to 1 over 4 cosinus h t plus 1 over h sinus h t. And this is uh, equation 3. Uh, and this equation is equivalent with theta t is equals to the square root of 1 over 4 square plus 1 over 8 square over the square root of 1 over 4 square plus 1 over 8 square times 1 over 4 cos sinus h t plus 1 over 8 sinus h t. And this is equivalent with theta t is equals to square root of 5 over h times the square root of 5 over 5 sinus h t plus 2 square root 5 over 5 cos sinus h t and this is equivalent with theta t is equals to the square root of 5 over h times sinus v sinus v sinus h t plus cos sinus v cos sinus h t where we have t g v is equals to 1 over 1 over 2 or v is equals to 0 0.46 then we have theta t is equals to the square root of 5 over 8 cosinus h t minus 0 0.46. It means that the particle or the pendulum will move harmonic according to the, to the equation. Theta t is equals to the square root of 5 over h cosinus h t minus 0 0.46. And then the equation theta t is equal, equal with the square root of 5 over 8 cosinus 80 minus 0 0.46 shows that the pendulum is moving in harmony with the amplitude square root of 5 over 8 the period uh, v over 4 the frequency 4 over v and the phase angle is v uh, approximate minus 0 0.46 and then we will find at time t what is the maximum and minimum value will occur the graph of theta t uh, equals 1 over 4 cos sinus h t plus 1 over 8 sinus h t will reach the extreme value when theta prime t is equals to 0. Okay, for the next, we'll explain by Triani. Please, Triani. Okay, thank you, Safira. Wait for a moment. Uh, the next is to find uh, at time t what is the maximum and minimum value will occur. Uh, we have this is we have theta prime t is equal to minus 2 sinus 80 plus cosinus 80 is equal to 0. And this is equivalent with 2 sinus 80 is equal to cosinus 80. And this is equivalent with 
tangent 80 is equal to 1 over 2 and this is equivalent with t is equal to arc tangent 1 over 2 over 8 and we have the arc tangent 1 over 2 for t in quadrant 1 since 1 is greater than 0 and 2 greater than 0 or t in the quadrant 3 since minus 1 is less than 0 and minus 2 less than 0 so we get the two critical points there are t is equal to arctangent 1 over 2 over a in quadrant 1 and also t is equal to arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over a in quadrant 3 and to find out where the maximum and minimum value occurs we use the second derivative test and if we have theta double prime t is equal to is greater than zero i mean then there is a minimum and if theta double prime t is less than zero then there is a maximum the second differentiation of equation three is Theta double prime t is equal to minus 16 cosine 80 minus 8 sin, sinus 80 and we call this as the equation fourth. Then uh, the next is substitute t is equal to arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 to the equation fourth and we have the theta double prime arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 is equal to minus 16 cosinus arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 minus 8 sinus arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 and this is equivalent with theta double prime arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 is equal to minus 16 cosinus arctangent 1 over 2 minus 8 sinus arctangent 1 over 2 and this is equivalent with Theta double prime arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 is equal to minus uh, 32 over 5 square root of 5 minus 8 over 5 square root of 5. And this is equivalent with theta double prime arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 is equal to minus 8 the square root of 5. And this is less than 0. So in the point T, that is t is equal to arctangent 1 over 2 over 8 will occur the maximum value. Uh, next is substitute t. This is t is arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 to the equation 4. And we have that theta double prime arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 is equal to minus 16 cosinus 8 arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8. 8 minus 8 sinus time I mean minus 8 sinus 8 arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 and this is equivalent with theta double prime arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 is equal to minus 16 cosinus arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 minus 8 sinus arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 and this is equivalent with theta double prime arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 is equal to 16 times minus 2 over the square root of 5 minus 8 times minus 1 over the square the square root of 5 and this is equivalent with theta double prime arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 is equal to 32 over 5 the square root of 4 the square root of 5 i mean plus 8 over 5 the square root of 5 and this is equivalent with theta double prime arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 is equal to 8 times the square root of 5 and uh, we have that 8 times the square root of 5 is clearly the greater than 0 so at the point t is equal to arctangent minus 1 over minus 2 over 8 will occur the minimum value. Uh, this is the end of our presentation. Enough and thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.